How's it going YouTube? Tyler the Hotshot Hauler here guys, bringing another oil filter review video for you. This was actually from a uh, subscriber who asked me to um, try this oil filter out on my truck. I bought two of them and I uh, cut one open so we can take a look at it. So the oil filter we have in question here is the AMS Oil EA080. This fits the 5.9 and 6.7 Cummins engines. Um, you know, and it is made by Amsoil. Um, I am not an Amsoil guy. I never have been. I, I've, I've never really uh, caught on to the fad. Filter, um, it costs about $20 to $25. Um, they claim that it is good for a 25,000 mile oil change um, or once a year. Guys, that is an insane amount of mileage, um, especially on these smaller uh, uh, diesel engine trucks. Um, I think that that's absolutely ludicrous. I'll say that right off the start. I don't think I'd ever run it more than 15,000, and that's even too much for me. Um, but let's go ahead and break down this filter. Amsoil claims that this filter is a 99% efficient at 20 microns. Um, guys, that is not really anything spectacular, um, to be honest with you. Um, my Donaldson Blue 7349s have a 99% at 15 microns. Um, just to put that in perspective, but they claim right here at 15 microns, they have a 98.7% rating, which is good. I mean, that's fine. The oil filter is a fine oil filter um, for its rating. I mean, it, it's nothing like spectacular, but it's it's good. It's not bad. Um, it's it's actually it's actually better rated than the Fleet Guard filters. Um, the Fleet Guard filters hold ratings sometimes over 30 microns. Um, so it is. Better than OEM, um, but it's not the best rated one out there on the market. Standard opening on top, nothing spectacular here. It's standard. I've never seen anything up there that's really ever impressed me, except for the Donaldson filter on the 6.7 Power Stroke. That's about the only thing, the only top that's ever impressed me is that one. Okay, um, underneath that, obviously, we would have the filter. Okay, uh, the filter media on this looks very well i mean it, it looks good i mean the glue job looks good i have no complaints with this i'm sure it would do good the only thing complaint i have about this filter is where it is sealed together um this mesh to be honest it's kind of done like crap um that's the only complaint that i have about this filter media after opening it is uh this part looks like crap other than that everything else looks good on it okay um, it's a standard metal interior, nothing special there. The rubber gasket here that sits on top sits right here. I don't know if it's rubber or if it's silicone, I really can't tell. Um, it didn't really have any information on it, um, but I'm sure it does the job just fine. If any of you have watched my videos, you know how much I hate these garbage designs. This right here, I hate oil filters that use these. I think they're cheap and they are just... Ugh, just put a normal high pressure spring in them. These are just utter crap. Um, now, I will say, though, the one thing I do like about this is it actually fits inside the bottom of the oil filter. Many of these leaf springs, guys, um, they they like, they like don't fit the bottom of the oil filter nicely. This, however, does. I will give them that credit. Even though I hate this leaf spring, it does fit perfectly in the bottom of this oil filter. So that does make up for it being a leaf spring because they did think of that and I am proud of them for doing that, okay? Because most places don't do that. So that is a huge, I guess we can call that a uh, middle ground for um, the leaf spring, okay? But the one thing on this filter that I absolutely love and I will admit they have every other oil filter out there beat is how thick this casing is. You can barely bend this with my hand and even when I put it in the vise, you can see the vise marks. It barely even like compressed um, when I was cutting this open. So I will say this casing is hands down the best casing I've seen on any oil filter ever in my life. Um, it beats Caterpillar. It beats Donaldson. I, I have never seen such a good casing. That is the only thing I hate about uh, uh, Donaldson oil filters is their uh, casings are very weak. Um, this is like a tank. I will give this credit to Amsoil where it belongs. They made this casing like an absolute tank, okay? Now, um, really guys, um, I think this is a solid filter choice. My only complaint about this, like I said, is right here on the 
uh, on the mesh, this mesh crap, um, and the leaf spring, but we found a middle ground on the leaf spring, so we can just count that out. Um, so I definitely think this is a very solid filter choice. I will be running this um, next time I change my oil, and I'm actually going to run this for uh, uh, 10K. Um, they do say down here in the bottom, you should run it for 15,000 miles um, for severe service. I would never run diesel oil in these engines more than 15,000 miles. Regardless of what filtration and oil you put in, um, eventually your oil at that point is going to be very oxidized. It's gonna, it is going to have contamination, and it's going to be broken down. So um, I will be running this uh, the next time I change my oil. I'm going to be running it for a total of about uh, 10,000 miles. Excited to uh, see how the filter holds up at 10K, um, and uh, we, we'll be bringing that video in the near future. So anyways, guys, um, thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions or anything like that, please don't hesitate to throw them in the comment section. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please shoot me a like and a subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more Hotshot content. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.